Hello, my friends, my Tree Hills Tigers, and everyone else. It is so good to see you. Today, I would like to read a different story to you, another picture book. I'm pulling out Pete the Cat's Construction Destruction by James Dean, because it's inspiring. The nice weather outside, even though we can't go on the playground, it's making me think of all the fun you've had at the Troy Hills Playground, and how it was fun to watch you playing out there during recess time. So we'll think about how Pete solves a problem today and enjoy good times and memories. When Pete sees that the playground is in bad shape, he gets a totally groovy idea. Make a new one. Pete calls in construction workers and cement mixers, back hose, and dump trucks to build the coolest playground ever. So this looks really a shout out to my friends uh, in Miss Catania's class, Mrs. Caperoni, excuse me, because I know they love their dump truck books and all different kinds of construction vehicles, as well as some of my friends in Miss, Mrs. Light's kindergarten and Miss Dalton's kindergarten. So where are we? He calls in construction workers and cement mixers, back hose and dump trucks to build the coolest playground ever. When his plans don't work out, Pete learns that no matter what, you have to dream big. So here we go. Pete the Cat's Construction Destruction by James Dean. That's a big page. Recess, Pete shouts as the bell rings, but when Pete gets outside to play, oh no, the playground is a disaster. The swings are broken, the slide is rusty, and the sandbox is full of weeds. This doesn't look very nice at all. Pete makes plans for a new playground. Wow, says Principal Nancy, can you really build that? Not by myself, says Pete. I'm going to need some help. Whatever you need, Pete, it's yours. The next day, Pete arrives at the playground before school. The construction crew is ready. Oh, it's already there. It gives them the go-ahead to tear down the old playground. Rumble, rumble, honk. All Pete's friends helping him out. Creak, crash, down goes the slide. Blink, clack, down go the swings. Bang, boom, down goes the tower. Honk, honk. A truck arrives to recycle the metal. Just in time for Earth Day, Pete. Way to go. Rumble, rumble, honk, honk. The new playground equipment has arrived. It's time to get to work. The cement mixer will pour concrete. The dump truck will bring sand and dirt. The backhoe will dig. The whole team will get the job done. Here we go. Clunk, clack, thud. Building a playground is hard work. The new playground is cool, but it's not cool enough. What do you think, Pete asks, holding up his latest plans. It'll be too hard to build, says one of the workers, and everything is almost finished, says another. But it'll make this the best playground ever, Pete says. Then let's do it, the workers say. They've got one playground, but he thinks there's room for improvement. Screwdrivers twist in screws, wrenches tighten the nuts. The workers try to make everything perfect. Hooray! The new playground is ready. Everyone is amazed until creak, creak, creak. That doesn't sound good. I wonder what's going to happen. <gasps> Smash, crunch, thud. Oh no, says Principal Nancy as the new playground crashes to the ground. The pieces are all mixed up. Everyone is disappointed, except for Pete. Oh, Pete, what are you thinking? This looks bad. It's not how we planned it, Pete shouts. It's even better. The playground is filled with surprises and places to explore. The school playground is the most amazing playground ever. That's true. I don't think I've ever seen a playground like that before. Pretty crazy, Pete. Sometimes you've got to dare to dream big. So I hope you enjoyed the story, Pete the Cat's Construction destruction. Everyone just keep on reading. See you later.